All right, YouTube, one with six Falconer, <coughs> Car uh, Carrier 9200 Weathermaker. The uh, blower motor here has crapped the bed. Um, she's throwing a number 13 code. I shut the power off about an hour ago. I want to see if I can just get it to kick on enough to put some heat in this house. I don't know why furnaces always decide to go bad. Uh, it's freaking uh, in the, during the night. What a pain in the sack. But anyways, I'm going to try to get it. And then uh, I'm going to have to pull this unit out. Because uh, I'm sure we're going to, it's going to have to be replaced. So, so let's turn the power on. Alright, so the main blower comes on, but the induction blower here this thing is like shot I mean you can feel but like I said I just want to see if it'll spin up enough to throw some heat and then we'll go from there so you can see the codes um, right in here you'll see it blinking blinking a 12 right now see that one then one two and then you can find your codes on your uh, on your panel here so the the uh, the 12 is what it does when you power it up it runs a 90 second uh, test and then uh, it'll try to fire up here in a minute as soon as we get done running that run that 90 seconds and then of course we're gonna probably get a 13 on there 13 limit or flame rollout switch lockout and then it explains more uh, right here at 33 um, See, it tells you refer to number 33. So, see, it's trying to fire up, but it won't. It gets hot. So we'll see what code we're throwing now. Yep, 13. One. One, two, three. All right, let me get this pulled out. See what it takes. I'll explain it. Okay, so I got the uh, blower assembly out. All it is is taking the screws out along the perimeter of the cover and then this cover will just pull off it's it's got a bead of silicone on it um, right there so this thing here is uh, I'll show you this is freaking it's actually broke off the shaft so I don't know how long that's been like that for um, but now I gotta go over to uh, I just disconnected the pressure switch took the uh, vacuum lines off the top and the bottom took the electrical connectors off um, this one piece here mounts right here you gotta take this screw out to get access to this screw other than that you just unplug the motor and uh, bam right, you got to disconnect your your uh, drain tube there which is the bottom here so pretty simple process so let me go see if I can uh, find a new piece here I'll be back 
All right, so went over to the carrier dealer. I got the new uh, induction motor assembly with tax here in uh, uh, communist New York State. It's uh, $381 with tax. So I got to take the back housing off here, which is just taken out. There's four, four screws. Bam, bam, bam. I'll pop that out, and then we'll go from there. I'm probably going to have to run over and get some silicon because you're supposed to put a bead on the back side here, only on the uh, on the furnace where this slips in. There's a little there's a little lip here, so get that off, um, and we'll go from there. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I uh, d don't have to put silicone on it. It says here if it's damaged, then uh, apply silicone. But it's not damaged. The old one, there's no silicone on either, either surface. So I'm just going to throw it together. When you get the old box out, you got to take your spacers out. They just pull out like so. Slide into the hole. Um, then the only thing I have to do is uh, uh, put the cap on the bottom and the uh, the coupler on the top, so it will hook in, and we should be done. Bam! So let me get at that, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I got it in. Just turn the power on. Um, we'll wait and see if it kicks out. It was kind of a pain getting it in because it is so tight in here. So on the bottom, I put them spacers on the bottom, worked that in. Then once I got the unit back in there, I reached in and put the top spacers on. Um, put the uh, vacuum switch back on. Everything's hooked up, should be go. Uh, drain's hooked up. So let's see what happens here. Let's see what code it's throwing. It should be throwing a 12. One. One. Okay, one, one, two. Yep, yeah, 12. So that'll do that for 90 seconds. And then uh, she should fire up. Man, I don't know how long that thing's been broken for, but holy crap. That was broke. There we go. Motor spinning up, the induction motor. Firing up here. It's not throwing any codes. You can see that the red light is on solid now. So we'll just let it fire up and then we'll call it good. Just heard the burner open up or the uh, gas valve, which should be taking off any sky. Uh, This thing's uh, 21 years old, this furnace. So. We'll see how she goes here. Come on. Still got a solid red. LED, burners on, get the blower to kick on, Go on. Oh, 
There it goes. Water just kicked in. Good to go. All right, so this whole thing, I mean, half an hour job if you have the part. Easy. Uh, expensive. All right, that's it. See ya, bitches.